Okay, we're going to revolve this blue region, which is bounded by the graphs of y equals x cubed plus x plus 1. That's this green curve right here. The line y equals 1 and the line x equals 1. And we're going to revolve that region about the line x equals 2, this dashed green line. Now, you could think, well, maybe I'm going to use the washer method. When you use the washer method, you think of typical rectangles or thin washers that are perpendicular to the axis of revolution. So you kind of go like this, and uh, it would be the outer radius squared, which would be this distance. Take away, well, in order to get that distance, I should say for the outer radius, we need to know what this distance is, yeah, I wanted to use a dotted line there, or a green one. In terms of uh, y. So we'd have to solve this equation right here for x in terms of y. Not so easy to do. Matter of fact, probably impossible. So using the washer method for this problem is out. So I'll erase these and we'll say, well, we're going to try the shell method instead. So we want to envision a typical rectangle or, or typical shell that is parallel to the axis of revolution. And so the height of that shell for any x in the interval from 0 to 1 is given by x cubed plus x plus 1. That's what this is right here. This is the height of this typical cylindrical shell. And the average radius is the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell. So this distance right here is x. or the coordinate of this point is x comma something. Oh, well, at this point is x comma zero, I should say. <clears throat> and the distance, the length of this segment right here is right minus left. The x coordinate is two, the x coordinate is x. So two minus x is the average radius of a typical shell. And so, this is what we have to evaluate right here. Now, how are you going to do that? Well, you're going to multiply this binomial times this trinomial. Uh, then you're going to take an antiderivative uh, of that result. And then you're going to evaluate it from 0 to 1. And finally, you're going to multiply by 2 pi. OK, I'm not going to do that here, but I will post a, Desmos gra a link to a Desmos graph that shows you some of the work involved. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.